Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. A long time ago, before there was ratchet straps, there was rope. Hey, seriously, if you need to tie down a load, uh, secure something, there's no substitute for rope. It's so adaptable, and there's some tricks that I'll show you that'll make it really easy. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. In some earlier episodes, I've showed you both some tips and techniques about using ratchet straps, as well as tying down a load using rope. Now, since then, some of you have written in and said, could you give me a little bit more clarity on this? And I've come up with another additional item that makes it easier to untie the attachment point when you're all done. Well, I'm gonna walk you through right now using uh, some of the poles on the outside of the building so it's easier for you to see, uh, how I tie down a load, both the attachment side as well as the cinch side. So follow me out, let's take a look. So what I'm gonna do is just use the supports on both sides of this little door cover so you can very clearly see what we're gonna do here. This uh, is, let's say, the tie down side on one side of your truck bed or your trailer, and this is the other side, but this will allow us to clearly see each of the items or each of the turns as I make them. So as you're starting with a piece of rope here, obviously you've got one loose end, and let's start with the attachment point. Now a common way that I've done in the past is using uh, a full hitch, using two half hitches. And this is what a half hitch looks like. Across the front, you come back through like that, and you simply tighten it, and you've got what's called a half hitch. If I do that again, I've got what's called the full hitch, and I can pull all day long on that, it's not gonna let go. Problem, at the end of the time, there's a lot of pressure that's been exerted on this knot, and it's a little tough to get loose. So you have to dig out the knot, get it loosened, and then once you get it to that point, you can pretty much take it off. So here's the enhancement that makes it a lot easier to undo this fixed attachment point by putting in what's called a slip. And that allows you to yank the knot out after you're all done and to have a regular piece of rope. So what you're gonna do is start with a longer tail to begin with, wrap around your attachment point, come around the front, come back through. That is normal, there's half hitch right there. Now when you come around this time, instead of going through and pulling again, instead, come around, but instead, put a loop through. And when you do, you can pull that all you want and it's fine, it's gonna stay tight. You can see it continue to cinch up, but when I'm all done, all I have to do is take that, pull it out, and look at that. I'm ready to go, and the rope is back in its pristine condition. All right, so let's do that one more time. Then we're gonna to go to the other side, the cinch side. So we're gonna put this here, longer tail, come around the front, back through from behind, pull, come around like you're gonna do that again, but put a loop through like that, and then cinch. All right, that's our attachment side. Now let's go to the cinch side. So we've got this through here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rope through Normally you would uh, have a wider space here, but now I want to be able to cinch this down. Let's suppose there's a load under this or I've wrapped it around something and I'm going to attach it and I want this to be really tight. Well, a common way to do that is to create an attachment point over here, go back through it and then cinch back to tighten everything down. And a common way that you'll see people do this is they'll just go like this, they'll take a loop and they essentially tie a knot like that, okay? Will that work if I take this through and cinch it back? Yes, don't do it. Here's why, when you're done, this knot will be so tight that you'll have to get an awl or a nail or something to get this all pushed apart. I've had people just outright throw out their ropes because they can't get it undone. So here's a much better way to do that. You need that attachment point to pull back against, but here's how you do it. Simply grab, nothing magic, just pick it up like that, a loop. See, there's nothing there, just a loop. Put your finger in it, twist two or three times. Now you have a loop like that. Now pull 
some of the rope from this side through it like this and now you have your loop now I can come back from the other side put through that loop and cinch notice when I pull I get an incredible amount of leverage and that can actually if I wanted to I could pull and start to I could probably pull these brackets off the wall with this attachment and now all I need to do to keep that tight is hold that right there put that around everything and loop back like that and that'll hold just like that over there if I really want to secure it I can do that twice and just kind of loosely tie it like this these again are series of half hitches and when I'm done I can simply pull this out get that it's now very easy to pull notice how it's loose in here didn't take much to undo it and now when I pull this out notice there's the loop but notice what happens when I pull on it it's back out that's the way to do it it's not just tying down the load getting the load secure when you're done with the job you want everything to come undone very quickly so you can stow the rope and now as we come back to the other side we're going to stow this all we're going to have to do is pull that boom off that comes there's that little loop right there pull and you are done and then you can just simply stow the rope and you're ready for the next time cool huh fast way to do it you'll like the results you'll like how fast you can get back to work without messing with a bunch of ropes and the condition that you'll keep your rope in if you have a technique like this you'd like to share with your fellow viewer family members post it in the comment section below or if you have some enhancements to this idea let us know that as well if you found the video to be helpful like it and better yet subscribe to our channel and when you do ring the bell so that you'll be notified instantaneously whenever a video comes up about every friday hey thanks for watching today until the next time this is dirt farmer j from dirtfarmerj.com